Welcome back. This is You Heard It From A CFP. My name is Matthew Coyle. I'm a CFP Certified Financial Planner with Advanced Capital Group in Minneapolis. This is our chance to answer questions for clients and some of our friends here that watch our channel. Uh, today we have a question about ETFs versus mutual funds. What is the difference? It's a good question. Let's dive in. Okay, well, I received a client uh, question this past week about exchange traded funds versus mutual funds. They're becoming more popular these days, ETFs are. And a uh, client has a, a two or three accounts with us and wanted to know the difference between ETFs and mutual funds and, and where we would use different uh, investments in different places. So I thought I'd do a quick video on it, maybe just throw it on the channel. Uh, someone might have the same question. That's my dog. All right, so how are they traded, how are they charged, and how are they taxed? Those are mainly the three differences between mutual funds and ETFs. When I first got in the business back in 1999, uh, ETFs just frankly weren't that popular. Uh, most people own mutual funds. Uh, most people owned individual securities, what have you. Um, ETFs are becoming a lot more popular, especially for um, passive investors uh, who want to track an index, or there are some active ones as well. But basically, uh, so the three major differences between mutual funds and ETFs are how they're traded, how they're charged and how they're taxed. So uh, how they're traded, mutual funds trade once per day. Uh, you basically send money to your mutual fund company, they give you uh, newly created shares in the fund, they total up all the investors at the end of the day, price it at the end of the day, and uh, you have a certain number of shares and that's the value you own. Um, so you cannot trade them throughout the day, they are liquid only once per day. You can sell them in, uh, buy them or sell them at the end of the day. Um, ETFs are a little different. They trade continuously throughout the day. So I could buy an ETF in the morning, sell it in the afternoon if I was allowed to do that. Um, I could buy one um, at the open, at the close, what have you. So they're a little more liquid. Um, they trade throughout the day continuously. So they're not really as suited for 401ks or qualified plans necessarily. Um, no need for that kind of liquidity, but um, they are traded continuously. So that's the major difference between how they're traded. Um, how they are charged is a little different. Uh, ETFs tend to be a little cheaper than mutual funds. Uh, they tend to be more automated, uh, more uh, automated trading, automated processes. So uh, not as much manual human interaction with uh, ETFs. So they're typically a little bit cheaper. Um, and how they're taxed, um, ETFs are not taxed in the same way that mutual funds are. So mutual funds are commonly held in IRAs, qualified plans, things like that. You are taxed on the capital gain distributions on those funds. Um, in an ETF, uh, not quite the case. You are not responsible for capital gains distributions on ETFs. Um, so you commonly see ETFs in taxable accounts these days because you're not responsible for paying capital gains on an ongoing basis unless you buy or sell the fund. Um, with a mutual fund, you would pay capital gains even if you didn't buy and sell it because there's pass-through capital gains. Um, so we don't tend to love to put mutual funds in, in taxable accounts, or I don't. Um, I tend to use ETFs or individual securities. Um, so those are the main three differences. How they're similar, um, very similar in the fact that um, they're designed to be baskets of securities. So you own a basket of securities. Uh, no matter how big or uh, small your slice of the pie is, you all have the same ingredients. Um, so very similar in that way. Um, so yeah, those three differences, how they're traded, uh, how they're charged, and how they're taxed. If you have any questions on them, uh, feel free to reach out to us. Uh, ETFs are, again, are be very, uh, becoming very common these days. Mutual funds, you'll typically see in 401ks and IRAs, that's very common. Um, but of course, ETFs are taking a bigger and bigger market share. So we'll see how that goes over the next few years, and I'm sure ETFs will continue to take more share. But um, if you have any questions on things like these, please feel free to reach out to us at the firm uh, in Minneapolis. And I hope you have a very nice week. And uh, again, thanks for watching. Bye.